One love, Rastafari. Bless you. Good morning, you know, from Freelance Chucky Yard. Now. To, right now, this morning, we're going to start to roast the chocolate. So now I'm preparing the hood, you know. For the fire. Now we take the hood and put inside this freelance car room, you know, because this comes from the car, you know. We organize it to cook with, you know, just like this. You know? So now we go over here to get some more hood. Maybe they can go in on some smaller little pieces, you know. Make it get more easier to burn, you know. So now I need the petrol from the bike, the gas. That's how we do it. You go like, you know, shirts and go like this. You see it? Petrol running in. In the rum buckle, overproof white rum buckle, you see it? I'm gonna move up to the fire side. Right here with the fire and the hood, you know. So just like this now. Preparing the rose, the chocolate, you know. Well now I'm gonna put on the pot to roast the chocolate because the fire already up and run, okay? So you just go like this now. And the pot on, you know. But it needs to dry out the water out of the pot, so I'm gonna give it maybe five minutes to get warm, you know. Eat up the pot like, you know, before you pour the chocolate in it, you know. So let it stay a little on the fire just like that, okay? Bless. It looks so brown. But after roasting, it will get a little bit darker, you know. That's me can break the shell off and then put it in the mortar and pound it, you know. Yeah, just like this. Original way of making chocolate. Maybe it take like half an hour, you know, to be honest, you know. If the fire real hot, it go faster, you know. So we have to continue work on the fire, that the fire can come real hot and then it make it more faster, you know. But for now, it's coming up. It's coming up good, you know. But I think in a real way, it's around half hour and then it's good to go. But as soon as they turn black, they're ready to take off the shell and then put in the mortar and then start to pound. Well, now the chocolate had finished roast on the fire, so now I'm going to take it out freelance style, you know, just like this. Huh? Now, on the table. Oh, smells so super nice, you know. So now I'm peeling it, taking off all the shell, preparing it to put in the mortar, you know. But it's super hot, you know? So that's why it come off so easy like this now. Super hot. Oh, it's super. So I'm moving Michelle by hand and it's super hot, you know, so you have to really be a real rough freelance guy to do this thing, you know. Because by right, you should make it cooler this thing, you know. But you I'm so raga raga and freelance, I don't really care, you know. I just beat this way, you know. When it's hot, the shell is so easy to come off just like this, you know. You just go like that. Just like that. So super easy. Super nice bean, you know. And from here now, I'm going to put it over in the mortar. You want to put it in the mortar right now and show you? Yeah, man. All right, come over here. <coughs> this is the mortar, freelance style. 
I'm going to pour it now, okay? Well, this is the nutmeg, you know, and nutmeg is a plant that grow on the tree, you know, and normally it drop on the ground and then we pick it up, you know. So we're going to put this nutmeg in the chocolate to spice it up very super nice, you know. So you take off this, they call it the A's, you know, and you put it in the pan, mortar just like that. But I break it now, freelance style, and take off the shell. And then you get this little round ball inside, you know and you put it in the mortar, just like, like that. And then, you get the mortar stick, and start to freelance it, you know. It smells so super nice, you know. When I pound it like this, the smell just come right up in my face, you know, and my nose, you know. Oh, I want to drink the chocolate tea immediately, you know. But it's still going to take a little time for me to pound it, you know. Super nice, man. I don't know why the people don't beat, go back to the original way and beat it like this, you know. It is so nice. You can come closer and have a look and see it start to develop the fat inside the mortar. Look. So we soon can make the ball, you know. Can I show you a little? See it here? This is, this is what you're going to look when it's finished. You can just go like that. But you need to beat some more, you know. You know, super nice, you know. And super easy. But it just takes more time, more energy, you know. But you the people don't want to put in so much time and so much energy. They go for the one in the supermarket, you know. But you're my freelancer. I always going to do this. <laughs> I just take out the stick from the mortar and leave the chocolate there and you can see the fat, you know, the oil looks so super nice, you know. But the more I pound, it's the more fat it come and more easier to make the ball close, you know. Just like I said before, watch. See a nice ball here, so easy. So easy. I need to take the spoon and scrape it around like this. And stir it up. And then we can put back the stick now and put more pressure on it, you know, to make the fat come more, that's it get more easier to roll the ball, you know. And now me start to pound again, you know, to get more fat out the chocolate. That's me can have my super chocolate ball. They roll so super nice, you know. And easy to grate when they're dry, you know. Because the more you beat it and form the ball, and when it dry, you get a smoother rub on the grater, you know. Because the fat is here. Oh, super nice now. It's coming real nice. Look. Come and have a look inside. It's coming really super nice, fat, all around. Super nice, super nice. This is the original chocolate from Freelance Chucky, you know. This bring me right back to my childhood coming up, you know. Mm -hmm. Drinking chocolate tea mm -hmm. and making chocolate with my grandmother. I'm finishing pounding it now, so it seems like it come down now to the right texture. That's we can farm the ball now out of it, you know. And then after we farm the ball, we put them in the packet and let them to dry for a couple of minutes, you know. And then we can start to make our original freelance chocolate tea, okay? But we still give it a little bit more pound, you know. So now I'm going to farm all these chocolate ball and show you how it look like, okay? Right now. 
freelance style. But I said before, you can farm it any way you want, you know, and make it in any shape you want, you know. So it don't really matter the style you want to do. Here, just like that. Look like you pooped in your hands. Yeah, freelance and you know. Yes, you know. So this is after you roll the ball, this is what your hand look like, you know. Freelance style, you know? Now I'm gonna prepare the coconut milk, okay? So you go like this. Right now, I'm gonna boil some water to prepare the chocolate tea, okay? Just like that. Now, you take it inside. So now, I put on the pot and the stove with the water. So now I'm gonna grate the chocolate, you know? Preparing the chocolate. It's a natural chocolate, you know? At this present moment, I'm going to add the chocolate to the hot water on the fire inside here. So you go like this. And then you stir it up a little. Oh, super nice. I smell it already. So let it stay there and boil a little. And now, outside back to prepare the coconut milk. getting some water now to squeeze them and get the milk and after the milk I'm gonna add it to the chocolate on the fire. So I'm not gonna put plenty of water you know I think this is sufficient you know to make it have a rich and nice milk okay so go back over here So now I finished squeezing the coconut milk. So now I'm gonna go inside now and add it in the pot where you have the chocolate. Okay? Inside the pot. Okay? Just like that. So you can get a super nice chocolate tea with coconut milk. And now I'm gonna do a little stir it up you know, to get the milk looking. Oh, smells super nice, you know. You can see say this is the original chocolate tea now, you know. 
from the coconut milk. See it? It changes it, you know, and wow. gives it a different look, you know. It smells so good. Yes, super good, you know. Yes, man. This is there, man. Nice, man. This reminds me of my childhood, man. Freelance tears. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. One more time. Freelance. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming down, you know, mm -hmm. to the right perfection now, you know. Yeah, man. Chocolate tea finish. So now I'm gonna take it out freelance style, you know, just like that, and bring it outside here on the table. So right now I'm gonna pour it in two cup, just like this, freelance style. Over here. Here. Just like that. You can see the layer of fat on top of the chocolate tea inside the cup. So you can just use your finger and touch it just like that. And then you taste it. Mm -mm. Super nice, you know, super nice. I love it so much, you know. And here is the sugar. But I say we don't tell you to add sugar unless you want to do it of your own. So you can make it freelance or you can just add sugar. But for right now, I think I would add a little sugar to my own, you know. Maybe I should add a little bit more, just a little. And now, I'm going to try to taste it. Mmm. From the cup. It makes you feel so relaxed in your mind, you know, by drinking this homemade chocolate tea. Super good. Ah, oh, so nice, you know. I would recommend anyone to drink natural original chocolate tea anywhere around the world just like this mm. so good so good and when you drink chocolate tea because of the fat and the texture of the chocolate you don't feel hungry so fast you know because the chocolate keep inside of you for a long time so you don't really have to rush and look for any other food you know all you have to just drink the chocolate tea in the early morning